Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. I want to say that I cannot contain myself with the amount of excitement that I have today about this video specifically. Ever since I started my channel by reviewing tech, you guys have probably already noticed that I am a big fan of Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball shirts are always in the, in the show. Uh, we always have the Dragon Ball wallpaper right there, even a Dragon Ball art right there. That's Goku right there that I bought. And there's so many more things in my life. But if you've ever seen me in real life, chances are you saw me in a Dragon Ball shirt. So when I have two things that I really like, the Dragon Ball series of the manga, and of course tech that collide into a piece of hardware, I have to be very, very excited. So. Today we're going to do an unboxing and initial impressions of the brand new Realme GT Neo 2 Dragon Ball Z edition, baby. So let's not waste any time. Let's unbox this. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So first thing I'll say is thank you very much to Realme for sending me this unit. I definitely am a big, big fan. So when they reached out and they told me that they were going to be having a Dragon Ball Z phone coming my way, I was super, super happy. So the packaging, first and foremost, as you can see, we have three different versions of Goku, base form, Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 1, depending on where you, uh, depending on the look, it's looking kind of sideways. And of course, SSJ3 or Super Saiyan uh, 3. And that's how we know since the eyebrows are gone. This pretty much says Realme GT Neo 2, and then I think it's probably saying something like closer to like Red Dragon Ball phone, and of course we have Realme sitting in here. On the side, Realme times Dragon Ball Z, so this is intended more into the Z series, not the Super or even the original saga, um, or even the GT saga. Uh, Bird Studio and of course um, Shuja and then uh, Toei Animation of course since this is part of theirs and of course there's a few other things here Realme GT2 and oh here it is more same thing kind of uh, base Super Saiyan 2 Super Saiyan 3 leap to dare or dare to leap on the top of course we have a Dragon Ball and of course it's well, actually this is the tracker showing us that we have a Dragon Ball not that far and of course I got my tracker and my four star ball sitting right there and of course Goku and Vegeta helping us uh, kind of make sure the coverage is done correctly here. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy. Of course, we're gonna have to do it with a dragon knife. So this, oh my God, man, I've been waiting for this for so, so long. Okay, so let's do this here. Okay, let's close this guy. We'll put that down. Ta -ta -ta. Here we are, here we are. Okay, so first, before we get into the box, the actual outside of the box is texturized. It looks really, really nice. And you can kind of see here that there's a little bit of a raised uh, edges to Goku specifically in his base form. So the box itself is even even extra customized here on here. Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 1 and 3 are definitely just normal. They're flat. You have the texture, but it's definitely not raised like this one. Opening it up. Let's go ahead and do this here. And here we are. Super Saiyan. This is Super Saiyan 3, as you can imagine, right there coming at us. And if I'm not mistaken here, here's a few other scenes that we have in there. Uh, we have him fighting with Frieza, uh, well, Vegeta, Frieza, uh, and of course Cell, and last but not least Majin Buu. So these are the different sagas that we had with the Dragon Ball Z. So they're all four uh, sagas separated. Uh, Cell, of course, is one of their, his biggest enemies. And of course, Frieza, as you know, he never kind of goes away. Buu does actually end up being transformed. And of course, Vegeta ends up becoming one of his best um, friends. And of course, uh, best people in the actual series to help him progress and get better in life. Let's go ahead and open this up. Of course, there's... Oh, here it is, here it is, here it is, okay. Okay, there's nothing else here. On the back, we have Boo, Dragon Ball, I'm sorry, GT Neo 2. So this is Kid Boo, so as you know. And of course, we have a custom limited edition Dragon Ball Z card with um, Shinron here or Sh uh, Shinron. Depending where you are, we call, in the US, we call him Shinron. He's the dragon that you believe basically uh, granting wishes whenever you collect all seven Dragon Balls. So the GT Neo 2, Realme, of course, and there's a few other options at the top. We have a few stickers here. We have uh, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 2 uh, Vegeta, and of course, another sh sticker that's present right there. Uh, we have Shinron again with uh, Goten in here, Nimbus, and the Dragon Ball Tracker. Man, so nice. Uh, so Boo, this is when he becomes just Boo with either Satan Man or Sat uh, Mr. Satan, depending what part of the world you're in. Uh, we have Piccolo, Gotenk, and of course, Goku. <laughs> oh man, so many cool things. <laughs> Uh, we have the Supreme Kai, uh, Videl, and of course, this is King Kai's planet. And last but not least, uh, here is a Seiya man, or Goten, when he becomes an adult, uh, well, more of an adult, and he decides to come up with an alter ego, so he calls himself Seiya man. Last but not least, a couple of paperwork here, nothing big. And of course, next is the phone. Hold on, there's this plastic here. Let's get this guy out. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Oh my God, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Okay, we gotta do this. Oh my god, this is so good. Oh, wow. 
Okay, let's take this pen. We're gonna take the sticker, no information needed. Wow. Like, seriously? Wow, the colors. It looks, I mean, so orangey, so detailed, so nice. Uh, primary sensor, as we already know, it's a 64 megapixel sensor. This is a Realme GT Neo 2, if you've seen it before, powered by the Snapdragon um, 870. Uh, we do have, obviously, the, uh, the Goku symbol here, Realme, and this does feel like it's a, it's, it's reflective. It's actually a separate material, different than the back. This is definitely a very smooth, no fingerprint. Uh, of course, they're not gonna let uh, Goku get any fingerprints on him and it looks absolutely amazing. The blue color does permeate throughout the actual rim. So the entire side of the phone is blue, even on the bottom. Uh, and of course we have the nice long display. The button is actually accented in orange. So to match the back. So the power button is in orange. Let me see here. Uh, the power, the volume rockers are not, but they kept them in blue. So you get that nice unison look going all across the phone oh my god this looks so nice let's go ahead and put this guy down real quick and see what else is in the box -la -la. okay next thing we have the tray nothing big here um included case this is typical to what we've always seen realme always includes cases in there we have oh here it is so this is the super dart uh this one is a 65 watt charger capable of charging the 5000 milliampere battery that we have in the neo 2 or the dragon ball phone um, in about 36 minutes so it's a 5000 milliampere battery and this one is a usb type a style cable and USB-A to USB-C cable, of course, to be able to connect all of this. Ah, and here we are. So no headphones. I was hoping for some headphones, but this is the piece de resistance. Ah, look at this. Okay, so you can definitely see here right there. So you can see, eh, here, let's just put it right across my hand. So Dragon Ball Z on one side. This is the SIM ejector tool, and it's the four-star Dragon Ball. Very much the same as the one we have right there. Very, very nice. And of course, we have the SIM ejector tool to be able to obviously insert our SIM card, but it's also nice to see that they kept the collector item on it. They're very nice. Man, I can't tell you guys how nice this phone looks. Seriously. Uh, I can probably just spend hours looking on this. Although I would have wished if they were to include it, a clear case, so at least we can enjoy the color, but I am definitely going to be looking for and buying a clear case just to keep sure and make sure that we're enjoying it here. So we definitely have the Realme logo. Uh, the camera stack that we have on the back is a 64 megapixel, which is going to be the primary shooter. An 8 megapixel that's going to be your ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro lens dual tone entity flash and of course on the front we have a 16 megapixel sensor on the top left it's a 6.62 inch 1080p 120 hertz refresh rate display i'm going to go ahead and turn it on and of course i'm going to give it a second to power up uh, we do have stereo speakers top earpiece married with the dom uh, bottom uh, earpiece if i'm not mistaken this is released with android 11 so i don't know if it's going to be coming up maybe this one is a special edition we'll double check in a second uh, again, 5,000 milliampere, Realme coming up there. Uh, this is a China edition model, meaning this was a limited edition phone released in the Chinese market. And one of the reasons why it's coming up like this. Now, I'll walk you through and I'll explain that if you decide to buy this or import it from the outside of the uh, Chinese market, it's pretty easy to get Google Play services running on this. And of course, let's go ahead and put in a SIM card. So it does have a dual SIM card tray. Unfortunately, no coloring on this one, but we're going to go ahead and pop in our T-Mobile SIM and we'll pop it back in here. Again, the color just looks absolutely fantastic. I'm, I'm loving the fact that they kept the colors true. It wasn't just the back covering. It was actually all around. So the blue permeates every, sin, every single area. And of course, these are the traditional Goku colors that you can see right there. Even though he had the updated suit in uh, Dragon Ball Super, they kept it with the blue and orange as that's Goku's primary colors. And there we have it. Absolutely fantastic. You can see the UI elements, even the folder, the background, the colors. Uh, the application, even here for the camera app, the icon for it, we'll go ahead and say agree uh, while using the app. Uh, you can definitely see some special effects uh, included in everything. So if we jump into the app drawer, oh, I can forget about it. The Chinese edition does not have the app drawer. So the sidebar is going to be the shelf or the Brino feed. This is uh, basically what we get with uh, Realme UI. And let's go ahead and jump in here. All apps are being set up. Let's go ahead and go to settings jump down and go about phone. Now, one of the thing I'll say is that according to the specifications online, it's listing it as Snapdragon 870. This one says that it's running the Snapdragon 865. Well, the 870 is technically an upgraded version of the 865. We have 12 gigs of RAM on this model, upgradable with the additional RAM that we have through the Realme UI, a 256 gig internal storage cap capacity on this, and of course, dual SIM, since we're using one of the two SIMs that we have in here. Now, first thing you wanna keep in mind is that since this is a Chinese edition, a lot of the functionalities that we have in here are gonna be uh, pretty much focused around Brino. So this is their internal search. Uh, by default, the swipe down takes you directly into uh, you know, the universal search. I was able to change it by just going into the launcher, going into about, and sorry, settings, more. And you can change it to standard mode, or you can, of course, add the jar mode, or, of course, the, the simple mode. 
Uh, swipe down by default has the universal search or the global search. I changed that to be just notification panel. Um, icon pull down gestures. You can actually even do additional icon pull downs to basically shrink down the screen if you want to be able to use it since we have a 6.62 inch display. Uh, right now, the lock screen, if I unlock the phone, is Dragon Ball again. GT, well, Dragon Ball Z, Goku, and Super Saiyan. Unlocking the fingerprint sensor takes us back into the same wallpaper. If we jump in into the wallpaper section, if I'm not mistaken, there should be a few. So we have the standard one, we have the Dragon Ball, well, this is SSJ3, and of course we have a Dragon Ball Z, and of course Dragon Ball Z on, on both sides. Uh, and I think those are the only wallpapers specific to, if I'm not mistaken, although this one can technically count, but it's not. Uh, so yeah, those are gonna be the main one. I'm gonna keep the main primary one in here. Uh, and of course, live wallpapers. Let's see, do we have any? No, we don't. Uh, let's jump back. And of course, Art Plus. Um, actually, I'm going to go ahead and disagree for now, and I'll keep it away. So again, we have Game Center installed, Theme Store, Weather, Video. This is, I'm assuming, Books, um, Photos. This is going to be just our library. I haven't actually used the camera yet. Oh man, so many things. Yep, A Map in there. Uh, Baidu as far as the search engine in there. Hot apps. These are just pre-installed uh, apps that usually come with it. More apps in there, of course. And you can customize different things. And I'm going to walk you through the process actually of how to be able to actually install or get just Google Play services running on here. Now, to be able to get Google services running on this phone is actually pretty straightforward. Jump directly into the app market and just look for any kind of basically app you want to do. So first, I'm going to do here is I want to download Chrome because that's going to be my best um, option to be able to kind of browse the internet the normal way. So I already have Chrome kind of going through. It's downloading it. This is the standard version of Chrome. It's going to finish it up and install it. Now, once it's installed, I'll be able to browse using the Chrome browser, using English as a language. And then from there, just look for the Google Play Store, download the latest version. Make sure you download the one that says specifically um, Android 4.4 uh, greater, and it is the APK, not the actual bundle. So you scroll down, you notice right there, all of the different functionality. I'll give it a second and download the APK, 23 megabytes. And once you're in, you can just customize and get everything set up correctly and say, I agree. And this is gonna take us straight into the Google Play Store. And voila, Google Play Store running for us exactly the way we want it. Uh, we can download any app we want to do, YouTube, you can change the keyboard, do everything you want to do. It'll basically work the way you normally have it. One of the main benefits of this is the fact that it isn't going to require us to install any other framework or anything. You just download the application itself and everything else is already in the system. It just doesn't have it by default. So just be aware that it's something that's easy to install. Chrome, Google Play Store, YouTube works the way you expect it. Uh, and of course, you're able to log in and set up different things for yourself. Um, and this actually is the, yeah, that was the video I pushed out on Monday. Really, really nice. One thing to mention though is under the personalization section inside of the settings, we'll be able to go in there. And again, we have the ability of changing the themes, the wallpaper, and the always on the Display. Now, this is an entire theme technically that's applied to the uh, to the system. So you can jump in directly into the theme store and of course apply it if you want to. Uh, there's this one, there's three different options in there that you're able to customize. You can go to my themes. Those are the pre-installed ones. So you have the standard, I think more like close to stock. There's the, um, I guess there's two different versions of it, but you're able to customize it. And if we're able to go back directly in here, uh, wallpaper is pretty straightforward. You can open theme store. You can see recently used local album. If you want to be able to load up some of your own wallpapers to be able to put them in, it's also very, very easy. And of course, you can just jump in here and of course, download additional wallpapers uh, and look for additional ones that you're able to look and download from there. Um, icon pack, again, this is the standard icon pack that's preloaded as part of the theme. You can customize it. You can also change it and add different ones. App layout, same thing. As far as the fingerprint sensor, I went ahead with this one since this is kind of closest to Goku, the way I feel like it, they're powering up. This is again the color scheme that's pre-applied. You're able to customize it, change the font, and of course, uh, the different accents that you have in here for the notification. This is just the style of the bubbles. You can change them and it'll apply it right away. Under edge lighting, I really like the fact that under off screen notification, I changed that to orange to match the Goku colors. And of course, for incoming calls, uh, I decided to just change, change it to bluish. So more of a bluish tone matching for incoming calls, again, keeping the blue and gold, or blue and orange kind of going in there. And of course, video ringtone, we're able to go in there and customize different options. So overall, the customization go throughout the system. If you install third party apps, you're going to get this nice little ring, an orange ring around the actual apps to show you how things are running. Uh, and of course, you're able to download the Google Play services, install it and run everything the way you want it. Uh, and I'm sure we can actually even download Netflix and run it in here. So let's go ahead and say install Netflix. I'll give it a second to finish. Uh, the dialer information is pretty straightforward. All the icons are customized, although not all of it is going permeating through the system. It picked up in here and uh, for just for reference with the connection here, I am connected via 4G. So no 4G LTE or 5G connection here, but I'm still able to get a pretty decent 4G connection. And of course, we can customize the entire UI to be as Goku-esque as possible. Now, jumping into the camera app, it's pretty straightforward. We have night, uh, night shots, of course, uh, video, photo, portrait. 
main uh, primary sensor on the back 64 megapixels and of course under more we have uh, starry mode dual view mode the ability of recording from the front and the back at the same time slow motion mode time lapse movie mode and of course expert mode panorama mode text scanner and of course ai uh, well ai id so basically an ai id photo uh, customization of course ultra macro to be able to use the uh, main macro sensor on the back street photography and brino scan as you can see here the realme gt this is the original version of it and this is of course the dragon ball you can definitely see difference in material here although uh the actual uh, i guess the uh, the model here it looks as if it has some kind of a raised material but it's entirely flat these are actually all done with the skin that they have under this uh, cover in the back the material feels similar but again for the overall experience you definitely appreciate having a dragon ball edition especially whenever it comes on a phone like this and as far as the refresh rate here on this display we have three different options out of the box is set to auto select you can have it either stay at 60 hertz or jump all the way up to the 120 hertz auto select would basically kind of control itself by itself and provide you the best battery life there is a screen protector that's already pre-applied on here. And again, as I said, the camera is present at the top. And then last but not least, of course, you can always customize your experience. I was able to add one of my wallpapers. It doesn't support live wallpapers, but it was able to support basically just me adding my own wallpapers. I kept the one from the actual theme in here. And of course, we we're still able to basically just jump in. Let's go ahead and unlock. Uh, jump in into wallpapers and still customize the wallpapers. You can still select the ones that you have. It's just that if you have any additional ones you want, you open up the gallery app and you set them. And this one actually looks pretty good. It kind of matches uh, the box. As you see, we have Super Saiyan level three here and of course customizing it and we get the entire experience there. The fact of the matter is I am really over the moon about this phone and it literally is one of the better options that we can get as far as a smartphone in 2022. Now, it's not running the latest SoC, but the 865 or the 870 are actually no slouches and still considered to be a flagship smartphone just from a couple of years ago. I wouldn't necessarily basically put this down to a mid-ranger. The 865 can still outperform any mid-range chipset from Qualcomm. So the overall performance here is not going to disappoint. The camera stack, again, the main sensor in the back, the 64 megapixel sensor is going to be your best shooter. Uh, the other two are okay, but again, I would focus mostly on that. 4K60 is going to be the maximum on the uh, cameras. And of course, 1080p on the front, as typically we get with Realme systems. Uh, no word on as far as when Android 12 would be pushing out to this, but I would imagine when the Neo 2 gets it, this one should be in the same boat. Uh, we have 12 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of storage, a really fast 36 minute charging from zero to 100, uh, to 100% um, on the 5,000 milliampere battery. So it definitely holds its own with power up and speed, everything that Dragon Ball Z is actually known for. And of course, all of the Dragon Ball Z customizations, which makes this device very, very unique. Uh, the only thing I'm gonna need to do is pick up a clear case so that I can always enjoy the colors on this phone. Let me know in the comments below, are you as excited as I am about Dragon Ball? And of course, those wallpapers that I shared with you guys, I'll send you, well, I'll give you guys a link in the description below to find out exactly how I'm able to get those wallpapers that we can actually even augment and add additional ones to the actual device. As you notice right there, I added this one, which is the uh, Goku Super Saiyan 3 level on there. And of course I have additional ones I can add, making this device even more fun and more uh, enjoyable. Um, thank you very much to Realme. Thank you for checking out this video. I'll see you in the next one.